My name is Jimmy. Jimmy, nice to meet you. I'm from Bleeding Cool. This is my son, uh, Grayson, and also Jimmy. Grayson and Jimmy. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. So, uh, I guess you write some music for a little show everybody likes pretty well. A little show, yeah. How did we get involved in writing for Rick and Morty? How did yeah, you get um, well, just the showrunners, Justin Royland and Dan Harmon, the co-creators, they were friends of mine from a while back. I started doing like little internet shorts with them in around 2005, and we didn't, you know, we just make them for fun, right? Or in Justin's case, he made them so that he could get cease and desists from famous people. But um, you know, uh, I worked on those with them, and we became friends. And when it came time for Justin to start pitching shows to networks, he he had he wanted me to do the music for the pitches, and Rick and Morty was one of those pitches, and it took off. <laughs> um, where, did you work on Doc and Morty? I did do the mu the, the original music that's in Doc and Marty is. Oh, yeah. Right. So you're yeah. Jump Street. You're like Jump Street. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Way back. Totally. Uh, my my associate here has a question for you. All right. What inspired you to do music? Yeah. Music to write music in general. Yeah. Well, my dad was a songwriter. He had a little recording studio when I was growing up. When I was about your age. I, I don't know how old you are, but about your age. I used to write little songs and record them, little boy band songs. I was big into New Kids on the Block back then. And so we used to write little funny little songs, and my dad would help me record them. So I got into writing music. I also, meanwhile, was also studying violin. I started playing violin when I was five years old. So I've always been into music. Yeah. And then have and then do you have do you have a follow up question? Yeah. What's the funnest part about writing? Music? Oh man. What's the funnest part about writing music? Oh man, it's you know the uh, the funnest part is hearing it when it's done, because the build up is you know it's it's work. I mean we, I mean everyone, all the other composers here will tell you, it's a real job. <laughs> You're definitely working, you know, eight twelve hours a day during crunch time or or even longer. So the fun part is getting to hear your final music, your mix on the big speakers <laughs> with the big screen and just. And just seeing it all finished, it's really exciting. Uh, what, when you're composing or writing, what are you working with as far as uh, you have animatics, stop, yeah, uh, I work, storyboards? Yeah, I work to the animatic, um, which I know is not 100% normal. I think a lot of composers will work to the locked color. I, work, I get to work to the animatic, which means I write the music for the show about six months before it airs. So I have a lot of time to second guess myself. <laughs> okay. But what uh, have you started writing for season four yet? I have not. I, uh, I, 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 I hate to yeah. say it. But that I was not. not the answer I was looking for. <laughs> I know. I know. It's a bummer. <laughs> what? Um, what was your? I'm gonna just kind of jumping all over the place a little bit. Sorry, but what can you talk about your inspiration for people music? Oh, human music. Human yeah. music. Yeah. Um, so when I got that episode, I it was just there was nothing on the animatic. It was just he just turns on the radio and then it's it was silent. Mm -hmm. and he goes, hmm, human music. I like it. And I so I called Justin. I was like, what the heck is human music, dude? You got to give me something to go on here. And he just said over the phone, oh, just something really simple on like a really simple basic synth, just like dun 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 dun. <laughs> and I said, hold on, <laughs> call back and leave a voicemail of you doing exactly that and so I literally just did it was like he just told me exactly what to do and I did it <laughs> that's fine because that's I mean that's a great note we're how often um, I'm kind of asking everybody how often do you influence the story itself does your music get to influence the story um, very rarely but I can think of one really specific example is that um, when I did Goodbye Moon Men it wasn't originally it was only going to appear once in that episode mm -hmm. And we wrote it and recorded it, and it was just like so. It came out so well that they ended up using it to score a different scene where there's like the ships are getting destroyed and stuff. And that was not in the script, as far as I know, to use the music there. So in that sense, I think they sort of they were going to have that part of the story anyways. But I think it was informed by the music, at least the timings of that, of the way the story unfolded. And did you write that, or did you collaborate? With, uh, I wrote the song and I recorded Jermaine singing. Uh -huh. So he was, I had recorded myself singing it and he just came in and replaced my vocals with his amazing performance. And he did it in like one take. I think we used the first take. This guy's a genius. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, I wrote the song. I didn't write the lyrics though. Those were in the script. Right. So go ahead. It was a, it was a team effort. Real quick, you gotta be fast. Uh, what did you do in your childhood for Rick and Morty? Uh, <laughs> anything? In, do you bring anything from your childhood? Oh Rick yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. I mean, you know, learning how to produce music and how to record and stuff when I was a kid, and you know, learning how to play the violin. I, I mean, I use that those skills constantly in my job. Just knowing how a violin is supposed to sound because I play it is really, really helpful when I'm writing violin parts, for example. Um, and then, you know, recording vocals, learning how to make vocals, singing sound good with itself. That's really a skill that I learned when I was a kid, too. So, uh, Working on anything else up, uh, upcoming? Yeah, uh, uh, it's coming before. out in April, very soon, maybe like a week. Um, I'm doing a, Net, a Netflix DreamWorks show Boss Baby Back in Business based on that Boss Baby movie. Uh -huh. I'm co-composing that with uh, my co-composer Ben Bromfield. So that's coming out soon and that, it's really good. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be, I think people are going to be surprised at how funny it is. It's really well done. And that's, uh, are you saying a week in April? Uh, I don't know if exactly a week. I can't remember the exact release date, but it is early April. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah. All right, uh, so that's I guess all we got. That was the last all question. Right. Thanks for your time. Yeah, I really thank you.